What is going on guys, Alex here, and today we're taking a look at the Trend Labs Nova, a surprisingly affordable, awesome pair of wireless earphones. So let's get straight into it. So in the past year, we've seen quite a few pairs of wireless headphones pop up all over the market, all stemming really from Apple's AirPods. But the problem with headphones like Apple's AirPods is that they are so expensive that people like myself can't justify spending that much money on what is essentially a pair of portable headphones. And that's where these come in. These are the Trend Labs Nova, a fully wireless set of in-ear headphones that offer a pure sound for less than half the price of the competition. I've been using these headphones for just over a week since Trend Labs sent them over, and in that time I've really come to love them. Now we'll get to why in a bit, but for now let's just start with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you find the headphones in their portable case, along with some literature and a box containing the replacement earbuds and a micro USB cable. The included replacement earbuds are made of the soft type silicone, which is really nice and premium feeling. There are three sizes included, tiny, medium, and extra massive. But the coolest inclusion here is a set of memory foam ear tips. Those are pretty expensive standalone, so having them included here is something I really wasn't expecting at this price point. Moving on to the headphones themselves, they come in this awesome looking twisty case, which can be turned to reveal the headphones themselves or to reveal the charging ports. The case itself has really nice feeling in the hand. With the headphones inside, it weighs just over 100 grams, which is pretty much the ideal weight to body ratio. I found that the inner material of the twisting section is prone to some light scratching when you twist the headphones, and just in a week, mine has gained quite significant scratches on it, which is a real shame because the rest of the materials are awesome. On the connection side, we have a micro USB input for charging its built-in 2,800 milliamp hour battery, and a 1.5 amp USB a output for charging your phone or other devices. That's right, it's a portable charger too. Pretty cool. Just on the side of those connectors are the four LED indicators for viewing the remaining charge in the case. And speaking of battery in the case, I found that in a week's use it's only dropped down by one LED, which is just about 25%. So they should be good for at least two to three weeks of consistent daily use. On the side where the earphones are stored, there are slots for each individual headphone, which double as chargers for the headphones. So as soon as you put the headphones in the slot, they immediately start recharging, which is something that I really love doing, so I'm not fussing about turning on the case, they just instantly charge, so that the next time you pick them up to use them, them, they're fully charged. One especially cool part is the way that the headphones are kept in the case, and this is done with magnets. There are magnets on the charging pads which retain the headphones into the slots so they don't fall out. So I can literally hold these upside down and shake them. You can see they're not going to fall out unless I pull them out and drop them back in. They literally go anti-gravity back into their slots. It's a really great idea because I've left these open in my bag in the past, and I thought they would have fallen out and broken. The idea of having a magnet holding these in is a really good inclusion. Also, another really cool feature is the way that if you leave the headphone on when you put it in the slot, it will automatically turn off. That's one of the biggest time-saving things I've ever had to do because obviously you manually turn these on, you don't just flip open a case like the AirPods. It's good to not have to manually turn them off and it just saves you a little bit of time. According to Trend Labs, the case is supposed to give 60 hours recharge time of music listening, which means that they can charge these headphones about 20 times from 0 to 100% as the headphones last for 3 hours of consistent music listening. In terms of construction, the headphones themselves are similarly styled to the case but with the inclusion of metal accents. This makes them look really, really good, and I can't stress how good they look. They're sleek and they're stylish, and they're simple in design. I really like them. The earphones themselves are actually quite large compared to the ones that I have previously used, which means that for some people, it may be difficult to keep them in your ears. This can be partially or completely solved by just using a smaller tip for the earbuds to give them a more snug fit, but it could still be an issue for some people. Also, and this is a very, very minor complaint, because they're completely round when they're placed horizontally on a surface, that means that they are prone to rolling off said surface so I've had this actually happen when I was shooting some b-roll, but I found that in general daily use I don't actually end up putting the headphones down They're either in my ear or they're in my hand Just as I take them out to hear something or they're back in the case and charging So it's really not that big of an issue But it's something that I thought I would just mention and the headphones themselves only weigh four grams Which I have found to be the perfect weight for everything So I've had these in my ear when I've just been running and they didn't fall out They're a really snug fit provided you choose the right ear tips And once you do get the right size tip you'll find that these things don't fall out at all on the rear of the headphones We have these indicator LEDs which are colored in blue and red. Just above these LEDs we have the buttons which are used to control pretty much everything that happens with these headphones. So rather than them automatically turning on when you pull them out the case, you have to manually turn them on. Provided you click the bottom of the button, so just above the indicator LED, you shouldn't have any problems when they're in your ears. But if you try and click the top of the button, you'll find that it is a lot more difficult because of the way that the buttons are shaped. And also, these buttons are really, really clicky. I love how clicky they are. Just, just take a listen. 
There's something about tactile feedback on buttons that I really like and these do not disappoint. As for functions of the button, a single press will pause or play the current song, double pressing will redial the last call, and if there's an incoming call, a single press will either answer that call if it's currently incoming, or if you're in a call, you can single press it and it will end the call. Turning on the headphones is easy. Once they're out of the case, you just hold the button down for 3 or 4 seconds, and they connect with each other, indicated by the blue and red flashing. From that point, you just connect your phone and you're good to go. One thing that I'm personally not a fan of is the built-in status voice. It appears only every now and again because I usually have them turned on before they go into my ear But occasionally I'll turn them on when they're in my ear and the voice that says Connected and then left channel and right channel or saying like headphones turned on honestly isn't that nice of a sound It really does take away from the premium experience And I kind of wish that they'd just gone with a similar system to what the Anker Soundcore or any other generic Bluetooth speaker uses And finally the main part of headphones is the sound quality So let's let's talk about sound quality if I had to describe the sound quality in three words I would use these it is pure it is clean and it is true to life. Okay, yeah, that's five words, but still, it is a very, very good sound. I've tested these both with and without an EQ enabled, and these headphones could be considered without an EQ, slightly lacking in terms of bass. Personally, that's what I found, but this can be fixed with an EQ because the headphones can handle it. Personally, I prefer to have the EQ enabled when I'm using these, just to boost the bass levels a little bit and just give a more satisfying sound. Now, don't get me wrong here, the sound quality without an EQ is brilliant, it's a very pure and true to life sound, but I'm more of a bass hungry listener, so when I'm not using these, I'm using the Sony XB950s, which are really bassy and I honestly love those, but occasionally I find that too much bass does give you a headache. These are my daily driver headphones now and I've been using them for the past week and in that time, I've really come to love the sound. I love the sound more when I have an EQ enabled, it's just a little bit of a boost on the treble and bass and a little bit of a reduction on the mid-tones. With and without an EQ, it's a well-refined, true-to-life sound. They're not bass heavy by any means, even with an EQ enabled, but they do have a satisfying amount of bass and a really clear and crisp sound. So so in summary, I honestly love these headphones. If you're a techie who wants to have the latest and greatest tech, these are honestly a good recommendation from me. It's the little details that they've added, like the memory foam ear tips, all the way down to the portable charger built into the case that really makes these an awesome experience. You can pick these up for just over £50, or about $70 I think it works out, and honestly, if you are looking for a pair of wireless headphones but you don't want to go and break your bank by buying Apple's earpods, which are ridiculously expensive, these would be a great choice. So thank you so much for Trendlabs for sponsoring this video and sending over these headphones for me to review. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video.